bring you the latest coming in from Pakistan. The Pakistan Democratic Movement is hosting its third anti-government power show. This time in Quetta, former Pakistan Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif addressed today's event saying that Asim Bajwa stole the mandate of the people of Pakistan. In 2018, he also said that no one will come to the rescue of Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan. आज तमाम सवालों के जवाब फौज को नहीं जनरल कमर जावेद बाजवा को देने हैं जनरल फैज हमीद को देने हैं जनरल बाजवा साहब आपको 2018 इलेक्शन में पाकिस्तान की तारीख की सबसे बड़ी दांती और आवाम के मैंडेट की चोरी का हिसाब देना है जनरल बाजवा साहब आपको और काने पार्लियामेंट की हॉर्स ट्रेडिंग का हिसाब देना है और जनरल बाजवा साहब आपको आईन और कानून की धज्जियां बखेरते हुए इमरान नियाजी को अवामी मैंडेट के खिलाफ वजीर आजम बनाने का हिसाब देना है आपको इस हुकूमत की तमाम नाकामियों का हिसाब देना है Nawaz Sharif's daughter Maryam Nawaz also addressed the rally saying that the Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan has mean has attacked the country and meanwhile the alliance of the 11 opposition parties called Pakistan Democratic Movement said that the Imran Khan government is afraid of success of PDM's rallies remember the volatile city of Quetta is the stronghold of opposition leader Fazlu Rahman's JUIF high political drama had erupted after the united opposition's last rally in Karachi which was held on October 18th PMLN leader Maryam Nawaz's husband Safta Rahman was arrested a day after the event from his hotel room he was charged with disrespecting Muhammad Ali Jinnah's mausoleum back then however the government has said that it has asked the PDM to only delay its rally over security risks without providing further details the government said that a threat alert had been issued by the national counter terrorism authority it has imposed section 144 of the crpc in the city no one is allowed to roam around with weapons or display them over 4000 security personnel and 2000 members of juif's ansarul islam are deployed around ayub stadium the united opposition has planned rallies in peshawar on november 22nd in multan on november 30th lahore on december 13th and in larkana on december 27th and for more details let's quickly go across to shahzada zulfikar a journalist based in quetta and is joining us live on this broadcast thank you so much for joining our broadcast uh, tonight let me begin by asking you about the pdm alliance which is holding its third power show this time in quetta despite balochistan government's appeal to postpone the public meeting in view of the security threats is the pdm now upping its ante in pakistan and what do you make of nawaz sharif's attack on general bajwa and of course the pti government Yes, uh, as you know the, that uh, Nawaz Sharif and his party, uh, uh, his uh, daughter, and the party members, they are attacking the Pakistan Army and its uh, chief, Army Chief General Bajwa, and uh, uh, the party, People's Party, and other parties are very much careful attacking the Army and Army Chief. But uh, uh, the nationalist parties like uh, Mehmood Khan Achekzai, Sardar Akhtar Mengal, and National Party, they are they are also the, they, they they have spoken today against army, against the system, and they they just uh, held responsible Pakistan Army and uh, its head for uh, all these miseries which the Pakistan uh, people of Pakistan are facing today. just because of this government because they said that the, after rigging this this was a rig election as a result of this rig election pti wa, was brought to uh, power today also uh, nawaz sharif mia mohammad nawaz sharif spoke at although the uh, you know that uh, according to the uh, under the law he, his speeches was banned on television right so that's why that that's why that's why so no uh, television no tv right. uh, i mean yes 
please. Uh, absolutely, Mr. Zulfikar, we do understand the kind of restrictions under which uh, the entire movement is taking place. It is, of course, fighting a lot of um, sort of... Um, the, the kind of governance that's actually stopping them from taking this mo uh, movement forward. Let me take a moment to read out Mohsin Dawar's tweet once again. Our rights are being violated by state above state. That's what Mohsin had to say. I've been detained at Quetta Airport with Nadeem Askar. I'm told it's because of security risks. Why are these risks limited to me only? We refuse to be silenced like this. We will not be intimidated. And so how do you assess Dawar's tweet, especially when it comes to muzzling these voices of dissent and the media, of course, even the opposition in Pakistan? I think, uh, in my opinion, uh, uh, I mean, it, it would be better. And uh, if, uh, ha had he been uh, allowed uh, to come and uh, address a speech here, uh, so I mean, uh, on the part of government, the government people, I, I have spoken to uh, Liaqat Shamani, the spokesperson of government of Balochistan. He he's, he is justifying his that uh, restriction or uh, ban on his entry, uh, saying that we have put ban uh, for three months. So that was 29th uh, July. Uh, so starting from uh, 25, uh, 29th July. So few days left for a ban. So uh, had he had he uh, approached the government or uh, submitted an application for uh, uh, I mean exempting him from these four or five days restriction. So we would have uh, taken some action. So uh, he was uh, justifying that. So uh, the the people and the the parties, the Awami National Party, Pakhtun based parties, they also they they they, they were just uh, speaking against the government and in the in public meeting they was also saying this was very 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 uh, I mean uh, unfortunate Absolutely. that a, a, a member a national member uh, assembly member uh, was not allowed uh, to take part in the meeting and address the people of Quetta. Absolutely. And if the intolerance keeps growing from the state's uh, part, we are, of course, going to see PDM gaining much strength and momentum as it already has in Balochistan. We'll actually have to wait and watch how this entire movement pans out in the days to come. On that note, thank you so much, Mr. Zulfikar, for bringing us your precious inputs. Moving.